I just get so amazed with every crystal that comes out of the machine. I love seeing all the projects and it's remarkable that when you're in an industry where you've been like, we've been doing it for like over 20 years now. And uh, still every item that comes out of the lasers excites me. And you know what I've realized, a lot of our wholesalers, a lot of our resellers ask, how is it that we got into this product or what is it that they can do in terms of adding some sort of a differentiation point to what it is that they're selling? And what I say to them is, you know, it's not about invention, it's about innovation. And innovation itself can be small little tweaks, small little things that you do to your business, small little things that you do to your product, small little things that you do to your display to really stand out, to pop, to make you different than others. And that's really what we focus on here. You know, it's about doing things that not only enable us to lead, but will enable us to be different than others. And that's what I really strongly suggest to anyone that's looking to do a business. It's not about coming out with the next biggest, greatest, newest idea. In fact, today, it's probably very difficult to come out with something that no one has ever come out with before. Many times it's about taking an idea, changing it up, and then, um, you know, making it something that's interesting, something that will excite the audience. So that's, that's the first thing that, that I'd say. Um, the other thing I would say is that it's really, really important to have a story behind yourself, behind your company, behind your product, because it's the story that captivates people. I remember once I was at a kiosk and I had created, I was on a diet at that time, and um, I had created a 3D crystal of a burger, soda, and fries. Okay, and I made it 3D and I put it in crystal. And uh, it looked so real. The inscription on it said, almost as good as the real thing. And we put it on display. It was to fill space on the shelf. It was to pretty much show an interesting, exciting project that I worked on. That first day, someone comes maybe halfway through the day and says, how much is that? I didn't even have a price point for it because literally I had put it, I created it just to fill the shelf. So I thought of a price in my mind, I doubled it. I told him the price on it, negotiated me a bit, paid cash and took the product. It was a product I didn't even intend to sell, but the clincher, why did he buy the product? Was because when he saw it, I told him the story behind it. I told him that, you know, when I created it, I was staying away from these high calorie diets. And um, the closest I could get to a burger, fries and soda was to actually model it in 3D. And that's what I did. And so I was hungry. I created this thing in 3D. I lasered it in crystal. I put it in display as a space filler. And sure enough, it's the story that sold the products. So just don't underestimate the story. I say this to anybody that's looking to start a business, it's already in business, and those of our wholesalers that are also selling 3D crystals. More power to you.